So rigging up the sail, I'm gonna use my ultimate RDM from North. Once the sail has the mast completely inserted up into the sleeve, we do wanna to come to the top here. This has got the system where there's a little, what we would call a mail pin um, going into the little rounded hole in the top of your mast. Nine times out of 10, when you sleeve the mast into position, it's gonna be in there, but you wanna check because every now and then you'll find out that it didn't quite sit the way it should have. We take the rope and loop it around the bottom side of the sail to then come to the extension and this big nub at the bottom. We wrap around it, come back to the sail, wrapping around that to go into the cleat. And we're done. You don't need to put the boom on before you do the downhaul, but it's gonna help show some of the uh, intricacies of the sail when we do start to rig it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my boom on a little bit early. I'm gonna make sure that I put it on at the lower end of the cutout, just in case that as I start to downhaul, if it was at the top end, it might bump into the boom and could damage the sail. Adding the downhaul tension, the material of the sail has a bit of a unique look to it, so it's kind of hard to see some of the things you want to look at for your tuning. But if you start to look close, it's really not that much different than any other sail. If the light gets it just right, the same as you would see on most normal sails, you're about halfway across the sail with that scalloping as your starting point. So what we're talking about here is if we look at the full distance between the front of the mast and the back edge of the sail, the softness or scalloping, actually we've gone past the halfway point, but your starting point is somewhere around the middle point and usually I end up on the X over in particular, closer to the two thirds or three quarters point. So I'm almost where I would normally be on the water. Now that I've got the downhaul set, I'm gonna finish off the rope here at the bottom. I'm gonna feed it up through this little hole to get it to the other side of the rollers so I can now ball it up. Put it into my little stuff sack and fold back in place. At the outhaul here, we'll see another unique north feature. They have a loop and go system that's gonna work great with their north booms, and it can actually be adapted to a lot of the other booms that have a loop and go feature. This one here is actually a Goya tailpiece, and I'll show you how that could work. But if we don't wanna figure that out, we can always go back to just the tried and true hole through the sail, just like any other grommet, feeding the loop through, no knots or no messing with any rollers or anything around the loop and go fitting on the end to then cinch everything tight. And with this, there's gonna be a little bit of the sail grazing the boom. I'm a bigger guy, so I'm usually looking for power in my sail, so that's my preferred setting. If I was feeling overpowered, or if I was a little smaller and wanted a little bit less power from it, we could certainly go that two or even four centimeters extra and continue to pull on the outhaul. Bad tensioning. As I'm looking at my sail, I realize that this batten above the boom could use a little bit of help to be able to open up the tensioner. I'm going to put the little twist lock there in position where it's parallel to the batten. Be able to then flex it a little bit so I get my fingers under the front and it pops right open. With this little butterfly nut at the top here, we can tighten or loosen batten tension. I'm going to add a little bit more than what I had there a second ago. Snapping it shut and then just make sure that everything's going to stay in place. We twist lock that little button back into position.